It's Corey and Denise from Dust Size Matter, and we've got a unique and special RV review for you today. So a couple of things. This one's going to have the construction and the tour of this model all in one video because this particular manufacturer only has two models of this trailer. Um, it's also a little unique because you'll see we are filming this in a campground. And so I'll explain that all to you later as well. So just remember that all the information we're sharing with you today comes from the research that Corey and I do and the forums we go on and all the reading and notes that I write. And this one's unique and I'm gonna to have to refer to my notes, <laughs> but you know, it comes from our perspective and what's important to us. So we just wanna share that with you and you can decide how you wanna use it. I'm gonna put links throughout to different uh, yet similar RVs and there'll be links at the end to some of our adventures and uh, some other different RV reviews. So stick with us till the end and then you can see more on that. So the one we're gonna to do today is the Airstream Nest. And it's cool have to say this is a really cool trailer now it's different in a lot of ways uh, because we all know that traditionally airstream is that beautiful shiny rounded type of aluminum structure right and they have lots of different floor plans and that and back in the 50s uh, they did dabble and have a prototype in fiberglass they also have the airstream argosy uh, which is not in production anymore but recently they came out with the airstream nest and so we're going to tour the 2019 16u so uh, i can't wait to show you all this but i got a lot to tell you <laughs> so for construction on the airstream it's what they call a monocoque structure used in airplanes and things like that so it's the shape and the materials itself that provide the structure for the unit Okay, so yes, it's still on a chassis and has wheels and uh, axles and all of those things, but they're not causing so much of the support. And the furniture and the cabinetry and the things inside also are there because we need them, but they're not really causing any structural support for the rig. So uh, basically, this is a three piece unit. So the way the fiberglass is made, now remember it's not airstream that's making the fiberglass shell it's actually a fiberglass specialist called goldstream that's the company that does it so these are all handmade they have molds for each of the three pieces they spray in the fiberglass they roll it into all the right places getting all the air and that stuff out then it's cured for 24 hours and then the pieces are put together and sealed um, so it's really considered a semi monocoque not a monocoque. Put together and put the end cap on and then it gets a two-tone gel coat put over top for it to look all pretty um, and these are marine grade um, gel coat and fiberglass okay then it goes to Airstream and they're going to add all of the insides and the rest. I could this is a really small trailer measuring about 16 uh, feet 7 inches long and it's really light at 3,400 pounds. So I just want to show you right at the front here is where your batteries and your 120 pound propane tank are. So you can see that's all in there and they're nicely enclosed. And then um, you can see the hitch. Now, this I want to point out doesn't come with the rig. This is a bike rack. It's not the whole bike rack, but it can accommodate a bike rack to the front of the trailer. Um, then there is a bit of an old fashioned <laughs> hand crank jack uh, to move this up and down. But remember, this is a super lightweight trailer, so it's not that big of a deal to crank it up. So you got to notice on the outside Okay, I know I've never been a super fan of the frameless windows, uh, but this front one is beautiful, isn't it? And it's got that Airstream style, right? And they curve around and it's, it's really nice. So let's move on back. Um, moving up 
on the side of the trailer, you can see it's got an electric awning. There's LED lights. They, this one has the no arms down the side. They're just at the top. Um, I do like that. Um, there is down here some storage. I think the, it, so it pulls out and it turns. So this would be, I mean, it's not a lot of storage, I know, but you, you could fit some tools in there or uh, a cord or things like that. And it's pretty easy and secure. Again, um, these are the frameless windows and they do pop out in the way that I don't love, but they look good. <laughs> you do get um, 16 inch Goodyear tires. You get an al aluminum wheel, uh, the whole inside of the wheel well is also the fiberglass so that's nice it is i couldn't find a ton of information on the chassis so airstream just wasn't sharing all that i don't know who makes this chassis what i do know it has torsion axles by dexter and these are the never lube axles and we've talked about that before in the sense that travel trailer manufacturers are trying to make maintenance easier for us and these do and overall these bearings are lasting up to 100,000 miles before there's any need to change or have a problem with them the issue is that when it's time or if there's a problem or if there's another problem with a other part it's hard to get parts for these people don't carry them and they're not really do-it-yourselfer type of things because they're really tough to take apart and manage so that's that overall they're good for me they'd be great because i don't want to do it myself but if you're that kind of person that does you might not like those um what else so they also have the never adjust brakes on them that's everything I could find related to the chassis. But remember, the chassis is not, all it's doing is carrying the structure down the road. The structure itself is where everything is. It's all put together and strong with that structure. I also wanted to show you underneath. Here is your electrical. And way underneath, there are four jacks, two at the back, two at the front. These are the wind down jacks, um, but they work pretty good. And you can also see underneath the uh, aluminum basement area, I guess, and that's where the tanks are. Problem I have with that is those are pretty darn low, right? Like if you're going over any sort of bumpy or, you know, off-road kind of stuff. This is a really low rig, so I would be cautious about that. Alrighty, coming around to the back. This is that third piece that finishes off the shell, and um, it just is this one back piece. The back door is here, you know, so it gets a bit of a campery kind of feel because the back door is here, and it really adds a lot to the floor plan on the inside, which you'll see when we go in. But it has good lighting, it has outdoor lighting, grab bar, um, it does have a step, and there's a big window in this door as well, which I really like because it lets a lot of light into the inside. So that's the back of this trailer. Let's go around to the other side. On this side of the nest, uh, you get a tank flush, you get a, a hookup, for satellite or cable, you get your 30 amp electrical hookup. And then down low is your sewage drainage. So your, this is your pulling of the valve. This is where you're hooking up your uh, hose to. And the hose itself is uh, kept inside there. Uh, this is a bit of a different, it almost seems to point up a little bit where really Airstream should point it down a little. Um, but I mean, it's, it's accessible. It's just, I think the angle could be a little better for draining the poop tank, right? So then, uh, on this side, this is where you're filling your water tank. And this is where you would be hooking up if you had a water hookup. You also get an outdoor shower and you get another compartment here. Now I know these are small compartments, but something's better than nothing. And this is a small tray and I'll show you all the other stuff on the inside. Let's go check that out. 
the inside of the nest is small, I know. <laughs> but it's really functional. So let's start back here. You get some hooks. Uh, they're functional and in small spaces you're going to take whatever you can get. My problem with them is if you're hanging stuff there, it's hanging in front of the door and so you're always going to be running into it. But I mean it's there. But check out this. We get a big closet. There's storage. There's cedar lining. There's place for your shoes down there. It's very spacious. And then, let me shut the door. Nice windows, right? Like a lot of light is coming into this space. So let's check out what's behind this door. Look at this. A bathroom. <laughs> We're in a 16 foot trailer with a bathroom and that we've always said was a must for Corey and I. So I really like it. You get a, a quite a large toilet, foot flush. There's a shower curtain. Um, there is racks. There's venting. There is a pretty decent sized window, so that's going to help out with ventilation. And don't worry, it's darkened, so nobody's looking in here or seeing you. Um, there is lighting in here as well. The mirror is perfect. Couldn't ask for more. The shower fixtures, quite nice. Tap. You got a little bit of shelfy space here. You've got a uh, cabinet that you can put stuff in and that's where your toilet paper is so that it's not getting wet and that kind of thing. Now this is supposed to seal completely, which it doesn't, but there's this here to keep the water from gripping in. You do have to go out to the kitchen to brush your teeth and use the sink and wash your hands, so that's not the greatest. But so what I notice uh, on the nest is that there's no seams and things. You know how usually they fit together at the bottom and there's a little click system or something like that unless it's a one piece unit. Um, this has, because of the way it's made, you get those two fiberglass shell pieces put together permanently sealed everywhere. Uh, so there's really no leaking issues and there's nothing to leak into. This is the fiberglass shell. It's, it's great. And you know, for a 16 foot trailer, you can get a bathroom. Let's go check. Also while I'm back here, I want to show you that there is a pull down screen uh, for the window and the door. And there's also a, a screen door that reaches across and latches. We'll show you that after. Um, so that you could leave your door open too. And then as we move into the kitchen area, you get a fridge. This is a, I believe a 3.2 cubic foot fridge. So it seems kind of small, but I mean, it, it's pretty deep there. And apparently it's a very efficient refrigerator. It does have a freezer. I'm not loving it. One, it's really small. And two, I don't like this coming down. Like why should I fight over top of this to get at whatever's in the freezer? But I think we'll, you know, be able to fit quite a bit of stuff in there. There is a microwave. I mean, it's small, but we're in a 16 foot trailer with no slides and I'm sure it'll be completely functional. So in here is where you've got your fuses and shutoffs and controls and things like that. And I just want to mention that in the nest, remember that whole fiberglass shell is made, then the insulation and things are put in, and then all this cabinetry is put, brought in, individual pieces screwed into place. There are uh, slots in the fiberglass that things fit into, and then it's all screwed into each other and in place. Uh, you've got some light switches here. You have your AC, which also has a heat pump in it, and then it has an auxiliary heat strip, which um, from all the forums and everything that I go on, you know, to learn as much as I can about this, uh, the Nest has had some issues with that uh, auxiliary system kicking in or not kicking in when people want it to. So that would probably be an area that um, needs to be looked at some more but I guess the bonus part is that whenever people have had a problem with their nest and they contact Airstream they have gotten superior customer service 
people, you know, technicians staying on the phone with people forever trying to figure things out and walk them through stuff. So nothing is perfect. Every RV has its quirks and things that aren't the greatest, but you can't say enough about customer service and people seem to be really happy with what they're getting from Airstream in that sense. So moving forward into the rest of the kitchen, uh, what I like about this floor plan is all this countertop space. Like that's huge. Great windows. We know Airstream's meant for windows. Uh, and then because you've got all this, you get drawers. And there's one, two, three of them. The bottom one is, oh, the bottom one's a door. But like there's just, I can't believe how much space is in this small trailer. And then you've got all these too. Like look at the space in there. It's huge. And then on this side is our kitchen. So again, you get beautiful Airstream windows. Okay, this is something that I was looking at um, before we started filming this for you. This is cupboard space, which I'm sad to say I'd have to figure out something because I can't even see in it. It's so high. And then it's got this little piece here which goes with this little piece and it screws in there to keep these closed when you're in transit, which is great. You want to keep these closed when you're driving down the road, but seriously, this is the best you could come up with because you have to completely unscrew this. And there's one on the other side too, completely unscrew this. And then what do you do with that? You know, it's going to get lost before you can open or shut these. So is it working? Absolutely. I think they could have come up with a more user-friendly system. I mean, they're Airstream, come on. Our expectations are high. Little shelving here. Uh, you get a two burner propane Dometic stove. Not my favorite, but I mean, the beef's a lot bigger. It should have more than two. Uh, what's this? Pull it up, it's a plug. Oh, look at that plugs and USBs. That's cool. I like that. Okay. You get a single stainless sink and a nice tap. Uh, not the highest. It probably could have been a little higher tap, but it's a nice tap. You get the cover, which we all know I love. And the countertop um, is a laminate, but it is a vacuum sealed laminate onto uh, the board behind it so it sucks down really tight it goes over the edges there's no seams to get leaking on you more drawers quite deep drawers uh, these are also type of multi-ply wood uh, to make these and I guess the gliders oh the gliders are underneath and they are a stainless so you get two more of those and you get another one of those little cupboards. So that's nice as well. And then under here is more storage. And I know there's stuff in there. I'll explain all that to you. So that is a pretty spacious kitchen, especially with this extra piece on this side. Um, I think this is Again, we're in a 16 foot trailer and you get this much kitchen and storage space. There's so much space in this trailer that Corey and I switched places. <laughs> so this is the front of this Airstream nest. I mean, the colors are terrible cool. I know everybody likes lighter and it is lighter and you get your Airstream windows. You get a cool skylight and it does have a screen that pulls over. You also get a uh, storage up here that would be easier for me to access, I think. So the table can be small like this or it can pull out and it has a little thing under there that pulls it out and it does that on both sides. So it can be bigger and it can also move around and give you more space for moving in and out of here. But I mean, these cushions are super nice. Like it's very comfortable and we love our Airstream windows, right? There's uh, venting here and down on the floor there for uh, heat circulation. There is lighting here. 
there is LED lighting that goes around the way and of course you need to be able to change those colors, don't you? This then makes down into the bed, so it fits down here and then these cushions come out, go in the middle and you have a bed. So I don't really like having to make up a bed, but again, I'm in a 16 foot trailer, there are trade-offs. There is another floor plan that has a made up bed, but then you lose all the countertop space over there. So for me, I would think this, I'd rather have the space and make up the storage and space and then make up a bed versus have a made up bed and lose on that. So to each his own, right? Um, but I, I love this. And you know, sitting in here, it doesn't feel cramped at all. And it's really nice. So another thing, that Corey and I noticed was when you make this bed up, you're going to pull this cushion away and put it in here, right? So that makes this part of the bed, you know, hands width shorter here and on that side. So we figure that'll probably have to be Corey's side because he's shorter than me. And that space would be way too short for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I think I've heard that it's a king bed. I read that it was a queen bed, and I think a queen is accurate. It, um, it's definitely plenty of bed for us. So I just wanted to take a moment and talk a little more about the interior construction. We've talked about that monocoque or semi-monocoque structure that the fiberglass is, is made and, and how that, that's all sealed together. But on the inside, once that outer structure is there, they come in and put a couple of different kinds of insulation. Um, the first one's called a flex foil insulation and it, it comes in sheets, but it's a thicker, more padded stuff, different than that reflective foil type of thing. Um, then they also use a compression molded fiber reinforced polypropylene. So when I looked into that, um, it's the type of thing that you have in vehicles, in car roofs and things like that. Uh, and then the last layer that we see up here is called an olefin yarn material. Um, so it's easy to clean, it's stain resistant, mildew resistant, and shouldn't absorb odors. So you can see it here and you can feel it. So not only does it look good, but it also has functions um, to help if there were moisture in here or things like that. So that's an awesome thing as well. The window boxes, uh, so they would cut those out of the fiberglass and then they put an Asdel box in place for these windows to go in. Um, they have different type of openings here. I can show you on this side. So you turn this and they open just like the frameless windows that we see on many of the RVs that we review. The front window is uh, more like a windshield type of window so it's not opening um, and I, I'm pretty sure that's a s probably for safety purposes and so it's you know um, not stuff's not coming through here say if you were driving down the road if it were an opener I think it would have some kind of enclosure or something around it the other thing I want to talk about because I mean we love Airstream windows is they do have these blackout blinds um, and they are on these little rails with these little plastic guides so I think the fabric on these is a super good fabric and I also noticed that they have um, or they did on another end oh on this end it even has a zipper so that when it comes around to the middle you could zip it up so I mean you can block the light out of this unit what I don't really like is these are really stiff and they were hard to move around. Um, so I just see them, I see them getting wrenched on because they're not that simple to move and they could break. But these are definitely good curtains. So you gotta love that. So there is access to storage underneath uh, these cushions. Um, it's 
just you got to lift all the cushions off to get at it. So you'd want to put the stuff you don't use very often. There. What we did learn though while we were moving all those cushions is that when you take all of these out of the way, you have a longer bed and a wider bed. They all come off and they're all Velcroed together when they're on. Uh, more numbers that I wanted to talk about with you. So the Airstream Nest, uh, six foot six inches interior height. So we think that's plenty. Uh, 16 foot seven inches long. So that's going to include the hitch. 3,400 pounds. So it's pretty light. And you'll, I don't have a brochure, but I'll explain that to you. So your black and gray are a combo tank and they're at 30 gallons. Your fresh water is at 24 gallons. So the reason that um, I don't have the actual brochure for the Airstream Nest is because this one's ours. Just kidding. We're not going to tow it behind the beaver. We're actually getting to use this one for 12 days while we go on an adventure up north and we're going to film all that and show it to you. Uh, but we decided to rent an RV through the RVZ platform. So it's like the Airbnb of RV rental. And we have this awesome uh, little trailer to tow behind our car and we can't wait to show it to you. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because that's where you'll be able to link to our other adventures and as the RVZ adventure comes out there will be more for you to see of the Airstream Nest.